My Fluke 85 has for quite some time had a problem with the LCD. You can see some of the segments there are either completely blank or just very, very faint at normal viewing angles. And I'm going to show you why. It's a very common problem that I've experienced with LCDs, usually in cheap four-function calculators, but it's just a matter of contact, making good contact between the LCD and the rubber strip, the conductive rubber strip, and then the circuit board underneath. And so let me take that apart. And you saw before how I just pressed on the LCD a little bit and that helped it make good contact and complete the circuits. But let me take this cover off and you can see I've had this off already a couple times and I added some electrical tape in there. One or two, looks like a couple layers of electrical tape on each side here, top and bottom to so that when the cover is on and clips in place it applies a little more pressure than than usual in order to get these rubber pads pressing down onto the metal contacts on the circuit board and so that obviously hasn't worked and a few months ago somebody suggested to me um, when he had a similar problem that I should just use some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol, and clean the contacts. And so I'm going to give that a shot, and we'll see how, that, how well that works. I've got 70% isopropyl. And I don't see too much dirt coming up off, off of the contacts and onto the cotton swab here. I'm sure they are a little cleaner than they were before. And while I'm at it, I'll clean the little button pads here too for the, the eight function buttons underneath the LCD. All right, and got it back together. Unfortunately, I broke off one of the little clippy tabs here. There's already, there's these three are still in place, but this one just snapped right off. So hopefully it'll still work. Let's put the battery on. And look at that. I still have the tape in place there on top of the LCD not doing any harm if I leave it there that's for certain so I guess I'll oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, oh that's just because I'm lifting up the the board a little bit here if I press it back down let me put the whole thing back together and see if it still stays working like this Okay, well there, uh-oh. Oh man. The switch is all messed up. I gotta put that in the right position. That's better. Okay, let's turn it on, see if it still works. Looks fine. So there you go. I would have tried this a long time ago, but I had always assumed that the only way to fix this kind of problem would be with a with the um, adhesive that the manufacturer normally puts on these things. Um, at least I assume it's some kind of adhesive because whenever I take an LCD off of something for the first time, the the rubber strips are always stuck onto the circuit board and stuck onto the LCD. So I thought you would always need some kind of conductive adhesive to fix this, but apparently just some rubbing alcohol and you put it back together with a little bit of pressure pushing on the contacts and it works just fine. 
Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something. Thanks for watching.